Hi, I'm Chris Soterakopoulos, Doctor of Physical Therapy, Fellow of Applied Functional Science. Coming at you today from Vita Integrated Health in Everett. Going to talk to you a little bit about plantar fasciitis, what it is, how it's caused, what you can kind of do to treat it going forward. So I have a model here of a foot, and we'll just talk quickly about what the plantar fascia is and what plantar fasciitis is. So basically plantar fascia, or plantar fasciitis is basically your plantar fascial muscle on the bottom of your foot. Um, it's thick muscle and tissue that kind of goes from you know, the bottom of the posterior calcaneus all the way through the plantar surface of your foot and into your toes and into that fascia. Uh, what typically happens with plantar fasciitis is, is that usually on impact, either through running or through jumping um, and activity, that plantar fascia just goes through a beating. And over time, it just starts to develop some micro tears in it or some inflammation. And so then that's usually why it hurts after uh, certain activities or even in the morning um, because that blood flow and that nutrients to that tissue is just depleted. The thing that you typically know about doing for plantar fasciitis is gonna be some easy stretches, right? Some people do the one where they put their foot up on their knee, pull the big toe and kind of self massage, that's good. Um, other people do the water ball in a, in a freezer, take it out, roll it on the bottom of the foot. That also helps. Other people do a lacrosse ball to kind of self-massage. That helps. And a very popular one people do is kind of the one to stretch the Achilles uh, to kind of get it to stretch out all the way through that plantar fascia. Those are all helpful because they stimulate stretching, they stimulate blood, they stimulate nutrients to that tissue that's injured and wants to heal. However, the question becomes, is it actually getting down to the cause and improving why is it you're getting plantar fasciitis in the first place, and is it improving that condition? And to get down to the definition of that is you really want to take a look at foot mechanics and how the body's moving, because that impact of that plantar fascia during running or jumping, uh, what should happen is, is that plantar fascia should react in a way like if I tossed you a raw egg and you were to catch it, you usually would catch it and kind of go with it and then kind of toss it back gently, right? And that's what should happen in your plantar fascia is when you put weight on your foot, you should, that plantar fascia should be able to kind of catch your mass and momentum and just kind of accelerate it out. But instead what's happening in your plantar fascia is that when you put weight on your foot, you're just jamming into it, causing that micro tear, causing that inflammation to occur. So what we need to get better at is we need to train that plantar fascia a little bit more on being a little bit stronger, more stable, and just more conditioned to absorbing force and then accelerating forward or changing direction. Easy things that you can do at home just to start would be just balance on one foot. And it can be balancing on one foot with shoes. Without shoes is a little bit harder, but even if you just balance on one foot, at least you're stimulating a lot of the foot and ankle muscles and bones and joints to do and react the way that you want them to do in a quicker speed. Balancing on one foot while moving around is fine. A lot of times when I'm at home, I'll be cooking or cleaning, brushing my teeth, and I'll just balance on one foot just so I can get some practice. What you're gonna find is that plantar fascia in your foot's gonna burn a lot. And that's good because we're stimulating that muscle and tissue, making it more conditioned to be able to tolerate our body weight while we're moving. Um, past that, Doing that same kind of concept is, is helpful moving forward with different motions, but I would challenge you first by just practice balance as much as you can, balance through your home, in the grocery store, whatever you're doing. If you're standing in one spot, just stand on one foot and you'll start stimulating that tissue a little bit more. If you want any more helpful tips, please feel free to contact me, uh, chris at thinkvita.com. Love to help you out or see you, see you soon in the clinic. Thanks.